Hi there, um, loads of trades. So I thought I'd just um, um, do a video. Uh, I thought it'd be a bit easier. So I'm going to start off. I think I'm going to start here anyway. Yeah. So euro yen four hour took this. Um, saw this uh, basically momentum's down. Euro is weak. So I was looking to short the euro yen. Um, it pulled back um, into this uh, sort of supply zone, um, resistance zone, and put in a bearish engulfing pattern. I actually got in late um, because this happened, I can't, don't know, it either happened late or overnight or something and then I woke up in the morning and price was actually floating around here. I thought I would still, I'd still be in this trade um, so I figured I might as well get into it and so I shorted it and got one there. Um, Euro Swiss didn't work at all. Um, Euro week momentum down, it pulled back, um, putting this hammer around this level of supply or resistance, whatever you want to call it. Um, pardon me, a pin, and then I shorted it and it turned around. I got out um, at about 0 0.7 um, because I usually find it doesn't usually return after that, which is why I've introduced that rule into my trading. Um, Euro yen, um, this is a, a sort of an interesting one because actually I entered this on the 30 minute chart. Um, Again, Euro week, uh, Euro yen momentum was down, so I was looking for shorts. Uh, Riz, to be honest, a bit pissed off with price action because I was like looking at this at about 11 o'clock at night and was just going, oh, you little sod, I know what you're going to do. You're going to hit this level and then reverse and I'm going to be in bed and I'm going to be pissed off in the morning when I miss the move. So I basically labelled this level of supply resistance, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, I was looking at this big momentum drop and looking at where that momentum drop originated and was looking at the lows and the highs of it there and set a sell limit around it and then shorted it. And it, that one worked out, which was nice. So that was two to one. Um, Euro Swiss, um, this one, um, was a loss again euro week momentum down looking for shorts pull back to the 20 moving average put in a bearish engulfing pattern there's some there's loads of sort of uh, resistance going on there and then um i trailed my stop to uh 0 0.6 minus 0 0.6 uh, which was actually the right thing to do because um the three bar stop would have got me out anyway it wouldn't have been break even after three bars so I, I would have got had a slightly smaller loss, but I'm not I'm not unhappy of getting out of that trade. Then this price action is quite choppy. Um, then there's the Kiwi dollar. Um, similar story. Um, dollar's strong and momentum's down, so I was looking to get short uh, by the dollar basically. So I pulled back into just above the 20 and into this level of resistance, and I shorted it on an inside bar and. Uh, got out at 0 0.6, um, I trailed it down. That's fine because the time stop would have taken me out anyway for a slightly smaller loss. The only thing I should have done is re-enter on this pin here. It put, printed a nice pin bar and I should have shorted that um, for the move down. Um, so, and then the Aussie dollar. So similar story, I was trying to buy the dollar. So it was shorting the Aussie dollar and the momentum's down. So price pulled back into this level of resistance and the 20 moving average so I shorted the inside bar and didn't work out got out on the 0.6% stop and I could have got out on the time stop for a slightly smaller no I think actually time stop would have got me out for the same actually would it that wouldn't have been it would have been very similar no difference really to speak of um, so those were my trades that have cl uh, closed and I've uh, written up and then just going over to the uh, to last night's trades um, Euro Aussie saw this last night. I was up till 12 waiting for this pin. I saw this pin forming at uh, resistance. Um, obviously, Euro, I'm not trading 100 pounds a point. This <laughs> seems to be the default on this. Uh, Euro Aussie, so uh, wanting to sell the Euro um, and the momentum's down, so was looking to short it. So got in on that. I'm still in on this move and I've trailed my stock down to 0.6%. There's no fractal to trail yet, so I'm just holding on to that position. Euro Pound, annoyingly, I've got out of this one. What happened is uh, the pin printed it at night on the resistance, so I took uh, set my sell stop below it. It triggered, and then um, where this I got out on this red bar, this red arrow there. You can see there was a big high wave candle um, on the 20, and I thought that was showing significant strength around the 20, so I got out um, for practically break even. But I should have just left it at 0 0.6. Paul once said to me to trail to sort of 0 0.5 um, to 
but seeing that I'm already training to zero point six, I might as well just leave it at that. Um, so, and that would have kept me in the move. I don't know this is going to go to um, R plus two, but it would have kept me in the move till now. Similar story on the Euro CADs. Um, uh, although I'm a little happy with getting out of this one because it's all started to stall. Um, I got in on the pin here at the resistance um, and then it all started to stall above the 50 and I was like, well, it's, that doesn't look too too pretty really. So I closed it out for practically break even. And then the uh, euro dollar, um, similar story to the euro pound actually. So it got shorted at the 50 and resistance on the pin and then with a sell stop and then it triggered and then it printed a high wave candle around the 20 showing me that there was potential strength again i trailed to i basically got out of break even um and i could have trailed to 0 0.6 and maybe let this this one run and i think that's everything for today i need to write these up but i'm kind of waiting for them to get to show me where they go so i can record the mfe and mae so uh, i will shut